today we're going to tear into the carb on this uh, DR650 I've been reading online. And uh, there are some simple mods that you can do to the DR650 stock carb to squeeze out a little extra performance. This bike is all 100% stock now, so it'll be interesting to see just how much more I can squeeze out of it with some simple mods. Now that we have the gas tank off, the next step is to loosen the bolts on the carburetor and tilt it out this way so we can gain access to the slide and the needle up here. When we're doing this part, you have to be careful though of this right here and these that we don't tweak them too much um, and break what's down here is plastic. have to loosen these up here. So, oops. There we go. That'll give us a little bit more slack on this, these cables here. Now as you can see down in there, those two holes, we can tell that the slide is still in good shape. What we're going to do now is measure 45 millimeters down from the top, and that's where we're going to grind this needle down to a thinner taper. see here the nice polished tip there. After sanding the needle and polishing it, we went ahead and ground down the little shim here so it sits deeper into the slide. Now we'll go ahead and put the slide back in with the needle. I did forget to mention that there is a um, little plug down here that has to be drilled out in order to access the fuel uh, air ratio screw.
Now we can see that that plug is drilled out and inside there is a screw that we will be adjusting. All right, now that we've got the fuel mixture adjusted, it's time to put it all back together to see if it runs. That's the real question. I seriously didn't know it was snowing outside, so yeah, not gonna get too tested. 